GST in India, turning five in less than a month from now. Uh, it's been an interesting journey to say the least. And I think it's only fair to discuss what this journey has been from two important stakeholders point of view, from the government standpoint, as well as the industry standpoint. From the government standpoint, it's been a very uh, interesting journey where all states and center have been following a one nation, one tax and one law, uh, you know, in, under GST. There's been a single platform for technology and compliance that has helped in this journey. What we've also seen is two important things that stand out in the journey so far from a government standpoint. One is tax technology, where we've seen that there's been an Im immense movement and increase of focus, whether it started from the automated returns, e-way bills, and then the e-invoicing that started in 2020, and it's only increased uh, in terms of its wide uh, outreach thereafter. The second aspect from the government standpoint has been focusing on the policy front by virtue of extensive engagement with industry and understanding the pain and therefore having a pretty robust consultative mechanism of engaging and dealing with industry's problems. From an industry standpoint, obviously the initial benefits were certainly availed and taken care were, were, were availed by industry. They've also been doing a catch up game on the rapid pace of technology that the government has been moving at and also been dealing with managing credits over a period of time has been a larger focus than getting the output tax. With that, I think what next? From our standpoint, we're running a few series and few videos for your benefit. And I think we are looking at five themes for GST at five.